Pahe Mane Winga, and that means uh, walk at night, bear woman. I was elected uh, president in 1991. In 1994, the um, constitution was revised from 1963, and the name was changed back to our name for ourselves, the Ho Chunk Nation. I think we're the only tribe that has the general council within the structure of our constitution. We have this, this separate branch of government where the people can, can make policy and they can, they can help change direction for the entire nation if they're assembled and if they make quorum, they, they obtain that power. Quorum is defined by a percentage of tribal members. It all depends on what our tribal member enrollment numbers are. If we don't reach quorum, we aren't able to have a meeting then. We have to pack everything back up and wait another year. Once we're there at the meeting, day of the meeting, at 8 o'clock in the morning, this past meeting, we opened up registration. Um, that was when tribal members were able to come in and receive their voting cards. Then they used their voting cards into a little device later on throughout the meeting to place their votes on resolutions that are, that are brought to them. We have our prayer that kind of sets the tone for our meeting. We have our, our drum group offer songs of praise and then within those songs the, the words that they're that they're singing go honor to not only just the flags that are coming in, but also honor to the people as well, and and our creator. So there's there's, there's all these different little things that that the, the cultural components that are placed within the meeting itself. Once we reach quorum, then we're able to proceed. We need 12:56 to be voting. Period. Oh wait. Motion carried. Take that back, there's 13 abstains. We have it ready. All right. Each of the people who recommend the um, resolutions are to speak or argue before the general council why they should uh, accept those resolutions. And then whoever wants to object to it, then they also have their say. We could look at amendment to law. We could look at changing the constitution, reverse some judicial rulings, not all, just a select few. They're able to, to establish policy for the nation. So what that policy has to be embodied in a resolution. And then the resolution has to make sure that it doesn't violate the constitution or you know state and federal laws as well. So it can't. It can't go out of bounds too far, you know, it's got to be within what we can actually do legally. General Council has always been General Council. Even in the old historical days, the people would gather and they would meet in council even when they were doing treaties, and the people would decide. The General Council branches, it, it empowers the people to have, to have a voice. Not only just to say it, but to, like they really have a voice, they can really they can really participate in their government. We're like a huge family, and and our, our family meets like that. We have to we have to bring our our worries and concerns forward. This Ho Chunk Nation government that we have now is institution that is supposed to deal with the outside world. You know that's why we have kind of same institutions that the United States government has, but the actual foundation is the traditional government. And what I call the traditional government are the clan leaders. Amidst all these removals, it was those leaders of those various clans that kept their people together and that met in general council, that met to make decisions for the nation, decisions that would affect their survival and um, ways of life and how to deal with the people. That's the foundation of our nation. We had to subdue to it as a defeated people. Our spirits weren't defeated, but as far as uh, territory, land, things of that nature, a lot of it was taken from us. So that little bit of sovereignty that we're, we're given back, we try to use it in a, in a good way. We try to use it in a positive manner so that we can have something and we can, we can solidify that we were here. This is, this is where we lived. <laughs>